Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Legacy Hardcore Nuzlocke. Just did a little bit of grinding off camera, uh, just to get a couple levels on the guys. Um, I did have to reset up my overlays and stuff, so it's going to probably look a tiny bit different than it was before, but I hope it's not nothing too crazy. It should be pretty much the same. Um, it looks like it's off by like a pixel and it's bothering me. There we go. The bottom of the screen was two pixels away from the edge, so I had to fix that. Uh, we did all the encounters that we can do, so our team is, you know, kind of locked in at the moment. Um, obviously, for Brock's gym, I need to get Kane, the Poliwag, leveled up. That's definitely going to be a priority. Uh, as of right now, he only has Double Slap, and that is not going to be good. So I'm going to hopefully get him some experience and level up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the graphics in this forest, like even like the huge Pokeballs in the grass. For some reason, I love it. I do have a Pikachu. I didn't know she was a trainer. I don't know why. I feel like I haven't played the regular version of this game in so long. I like forget who's actually a trainer or not. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, go for the double slap. See what we can do. I really hope he learns Bubble or something like that, because if not, this first gym is going to be very, very difficult. Um, trying to get through without any grass or water moves is going to be a problem. So, Kane, kind of relying on you here, buddy. Please learn Bubble. Please learn Bubble. Please? Let's go! That's clutch. I actually did. I was not sure when he was going to learn it. I did not know he was going to learn it right then. I'm just very lucky that he did. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that did no damage. And we're poisoned. Um, That's not phenomenal, I'm going to be honest. Uh, that's really not that good. Oh, the little Pika. Um, also, another thing, I lowered the audio a little bit on the gameplay. Um, the first video, I had it a little too loud and... Every time I do that, it gets flagged for, like, copyright stuff, because there's a million people out there that make, like, you know, ROM hacks. Not ROM hacks. Um, they make, like, remixes to songs, and it'll get flagged by everything in the world if you play regular Pokemon music too loud. So, I had to lower it a tiny bit. Hopefully, it won't be too much of an issue. Um, please tell me... Wait. Uh, there is poison in the overworld. But we did buy antidotes. For this exact reason. I did not want to have to deal with uh, getting poisoned and losing Pokemon to that. So, uh, I'm going to go heal up, though. <laughs> I don't want to skip any of these trainers uh, for, like, grinding purposes. So, you know, this playthrough might go a little a little, little slower pace at first. But this game's really not that long. Um, especially if I cut out any grinding in between episodes and whatnot. So, it should be fine with, you know, the pacing. Even including... Some of this i could use little taps of speed up i guess to cut through some animations but i really don't want to use uh too much speed up at all just the the og sounds of the game and speed of it at least we got running shoes right it's gonna make it a much more bearable experience okay let's go this way you ran out of pokeballs to catch pokemon with you should carry extras good point what a smart guy Unfortunately, I'm doing a Nuzlocke, so I don't really need to have extra Pokeballs because I can't really catch as many as I want. We're not here to catch them all, buddy. Uh, also, a lot of people in the comments were saying that, because I had mentioned in the first episode, like, I didn't know if I wanted to use uh, the, like, actual starters. Um, kind of debating on it. Let me see my stats on this. Yeah, my attack is better than my special. Double Slap's actually probably better. Um... And a lot of people are saying I should definitely use the starters. You know, the Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. At least I should grab them since I'm doing a Nuzlocke. This is a, you know, this is a modified version of the game. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, so I think I will go about it with the starters in it. Like I said, I might not use them as much. Um, but depending on my encounters, I might need to. You know, if I don't find, like, if I don't get a single fire type as an encounter, then I might need to use Charizard or something, you know? Or if I don't get, like, a good grass type, 
Right now we don't have any grass types. So we got two flying types. Yeah, who knows? We'll see how the encounters go for us. If our team is pretty well rounded and you know I got some cool Pokemon I can use, I'll stick with them, but you know, I guess I'll have to leave the options open. Oh, don't poison me, come on. Alright, string shot, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm -mm -mm. I could evolve my Weedle. My Weedle was like level 6 as well. It'll evolve into Cocoon at 7. Not really going to be useful for this next gym, so I'm like not super sweating it. Uh, Alright, you got this battle is... It's over, okay. Um, but yeah, I don't really need Beedrill for this, like, bat, this gym. I don't know if I'm really ever going to need... Am I going to use a Beedrill? I mean, for Erica's gym, it's not bad, right? I don't know what Erica's going to have, but it's going to be a lot of grass poisons. So it definitely could work. Let me lead with it. I don't know what the level cap currently is either. It's probably like 14 or something, if I had to guess. I don't know what uh, Brock's ace is, but... We will find out. So in this game, the level cap in it won't let me level up past what the ace of the gym, the next gym I'm doing currently is, so... Good little... I have tackle. No! Why can't you just have Harden so I get a free experience? There you go. Keep clicking that. Keep clicking that, buddy. Tackle. Five down to 11. Okay. Should be good. I would like to get this evolved. I mean, obviously Kakuna's stats aren't good, but if I can get it to a Beedrill... I will get it to a Beedrill before the first ship. Because I am going to do all the grinding. I'll get everything to level cap and whatnot. Um, I don't think there's a way to set up... Uh, rare candies in this. To kind of help me with... Grinding. I guess I could look into it. I might be able to. I really don't want to, like... Corrupt the file at all. So, like, that's like kind of my... Worst case scenario would be corrupting the file. And I really don't want to do that. So... Uh... I don't want to risk it. Even though doing the grinding on this could definitely be slow process. I like how they kept the direct uh, the order of operations, you know, with them attacking and then taking their poison damage and then it switching. I mean, uh, then it going to the next Pokemon's turn. It's kind of cool. It's cool that they kept it that way. Um, I'm trying to think of like, obviously I'm nuzlocking, so. You know, I'm trying to, like, imagine what I kind of want to run for a team. Oh, come on. Um, I, I think I'm going to keep Pikachu on the... I think I got to keep Pikachu on the team. You know, as long as possible. Yeah, you know, we are nuzlocking. locking. Something could happen to my boy. But I think I want to keep Pikachu on the team. They did boost him in this game, so he's a little better than regular Pikachu. But, uh... I think it'll be fun to use regardless. And, I mean, I would love to get a Sandshrew on the team, but, you know, we'll see about that. You know, no, no guarantees I'll find one. Um, I mean, I guess I could run, like, a Magnemite, Magneton, if something happens to Pikachu, if I find one. I'm excited. Just playing Gen 1. Also, I'm drinking a little mini Coke over here. It's, like, 10 o'clock at night. Good little caffeine boost. This is definitely not going to ruin my sleep at all. Nice little potion. Okay, so we got a Kakuna now. Um, I really do need to level up Kane, but for right now, I can do a lot of that grinding off stream. So let me lead with my birds. The birds are definitely gonna be the you know most effective in this in this forest, you know. Like, Metapod looks like such a Chad over here. I don't know why. I feel like when I see him, I think of, like, the handsome Squidward. The way his face is. He just looks like a very noble guy. Mm. Alright, is this free little XP? Mm. Yeah, right now, though, my team is very bad against Brock. It's not going to go well. Really, really not looking forward to it. I 100% need to ult Poliwag and just get the job done because we're going to be in shambles if you can't. It will be an absolute shambles. 
Uh, we don't have any more encounters to do. So that's gonna... That's gonna suck. I might talk to, like, everyone I can in the cities to see if, like, there's any trades or anything um, that they added into the game that aren't normally there to hopefully give you a little bit more of, like, a opportunity or chance to win the first gym. Because this is definitely not gonna be easy. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me. Mmm. Toxic getting his experience here. Toxic. Oh, we tanked that. Wow. Good for you. Good for you. All right. Metapod's out. Hit level 10. I'm trying to think. I probably... What I should do is go over the, uh... Like, the recap of this game. Like, the guy who made it. He posts, like, this long video of, like, all the changes in the game and whatnot. And I should probably go over that again or look up some sort of guide for it so I can, you know, kind of refresh my memory on, like I said, things like trades that might be available or things that could imp Oh, man, I had an Oddish. That would have been such a good encounter. Would have been so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, get through some of this. These wild encounters. I said I don't want to use too much speed up, but like, until I get repels, I don't want to just be stuck in a, you know, half my episode being in wild encounters. All right, last trainer. And then we get uh, to the next city. Chillin', kind of cruising, kind of cruising. I think this is like a very, you have a pincer. Hold up. Um... Pinsir looks crazy in this generation, not gonna lie, that sprite is amazing. Uh, but you are terrifying. Okay. Nice little highlight of things they changed already. Won the speed side, perfect. Yikes, that could have been scary. That could have been scary. So much experience though, 342. Up to level 12, we learned Quick Attack. Beautiful. Oz says, you have Scyther too, imagine. That would've been crazy. Oh, Scyther's gotta be so good in this game. Oh, I would love a Scyther. Scyther and Pinsir, for some reason, they're base 500 Pokemon. Like, the base stat total. And for some reason, they're just both so underwhelming for their stats. Like, you would think it'd be better. Alright, so 12 is the level cap. So it looks like Toxic is maxed out. Okay. All right, so level 12. Not bad. Not bad. Let me talk to you. Uh, they can be cut down by special Pokemon move. Okay. You look everywhere to get different cons. Thank you. I know how Pokemon works. Oh my gosh, this gray scheme here. Oh, it's so good. Forgot how the color scheme, sh like, the change from city to city. Oh, it's so good. So good. This game is I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm just I'm in nostalgia heaven right now. I'm in a nostalgia city. Okay. What are you doing? Pokemon centers are wonderful. They heal Pokemon completely. Even conditions like sleep, burn, poison, and others are cured. Thank you. Yawn. When Jersey Puff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Love it. Love it. Like I said, I gotta talk to some people. Team Rock is at Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. Oh, oh. My bad. My bad. Didn't mean to interfere with you, buddy. I'm trying to discover some stuff in the city. Learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught by the trainer. They get hurt when they're asleep. Okay. I feel like it's my first time ever playing Pokemon, and I'm out here just trying to get all the information I can. They're like bug catchers, but Pewish Jim's Brock is totally into it. Okay. Um, do you check out the museum? No. Really? You absolutely have to go. I don't remember this. I don't think I've ever talked to that guy. Huh. I'm gonna go to the museum. 
Fifty dollars for a child's sake. Would you like to come in? Yep. Let me in the museum. That's one of our magnificent fossils. It is. Ooh. Little aerodactyl fossil. I like it. That's not nothing on the wall. Okay, what is this? Okay, ooh, the Kabutops. Kabutops is so sick. So sick. Oh, hi. We have a space exhibit now. Cool. You write that fell on Mount Moon. Moonstone? Question mark? So I just went 1969, the first lunar landing. I bought a color TV to watch it. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Space Shuttle Columbia. Okay. I'd love to get that strong looking Pikachu off from you. I bet it looks so attached. They've been hard to find lately. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my dad to catch one. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that was a waste of a trip to the museum. It was not worth at all. How you doing, Pikachu? Doing good. Is there a hidden item over here? I feel like there is. Just remember from Radical Red that there is there. Um, you're not gonna let me pass, right? All right, this game, you gotta stop with this. You gotta stop with this. You don't gotta stop dragging me around here. All right, you don't need to drag me around. Um, I am a little nervous with this gym, though. Not gonna lie. Where did you go? How, how, where did you just go? Uh, Kane? Is like my only kind of answer for this. And he's level 9. I'm going to get decimated by a rock move. So I kind of don't know what I should do right now. I should probably grind up. You know what I'm doing? Yeah. Sure. Uh, let's grind up a tiny bit. This is... Ooh, level... Eight. Yikes. I'm going to grind up a little bit real quick. Usually I do this off screen, but with the speed up, might as well do it on screen real quick. Oh, Vulpix. Oh, Vulpix. I would have loved to have you on the team. Would have absolutely loved it. Um, man, Bubble really is not strong. I feel like I'm gonna lose this gym. We might be, we might be just GGs right off the bat. Yeah, we got level 11 on you. Oh, I am poisoned. I'm gonna use the antidote because I do not want to mess around. I'm not losing a Pokemon to a poison. Not happening. Not today, buddy. Okay, let's uh, let's go into the gym. Let's test the Waldus. I'm very nervous. I don't think this is going to go well. Uh, just having bubble is just not that good. Um, man. Because with the other than him, like I really don't do much to this gym. I got a poison sting, heck, dust, hackle, undershock. Like bubble's literally the only move I have that can do any damage. I might be in trouble here. Might be in trouble. See what level you are. And if his ace is uh like an Onyx, then I should if it's Onyx Geodude, like if he didn't make any changes to that, then I should be okay. But if he did, it's a crit. That's insane. That is insane. Why is your special so bad, Kane? I'm doing that much damage to a Diglett. That's just pathetic. Oh, scares me. I'm terrified. Okay, and then the Sandshrew, my boy. Let me get some damage off on you. Oof. Speed fell. Goes to the poison sting. Uh oh. Don't like that. Um. Let's go into Fox. I'm gonna try to get some experience on the rest of my squad. That's a crit. I don't like that. We go into Toxic. Dust. 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 Okay. Okay. I know I used some speed up right there and I probably shouldn't have, but I got a little antsy. And I saw I was like, I don't know, I had about 20 minutes on the recording too, so I wanna do I wanna do this boss this boss fight. This uh rock fight before wrapping up the episode. Oh boy. Kane. 
Take us to the promised land, please. Have a Geodude and a Onyx, like I know you to have. Just four times a week to water Pokemon. And uh, just, just make it easy for me so I can move on from here and start building a better team, please. There we go. It's not going to one-shot. It does great damage, though. Tackle. Okay. Fine. This theme music is so good. Okay, we should be alright. Oh, that's not good. Um, I did nothing to him. We got the speed drops though, which is good. Find I'm trapped. Uh oh, 27 to 20. Oh, I'm dead. I think I'm gonna lose. I can't switch. Can I switch out on this? I don't know if I can. I can. I did not know that's, that worked like that. I'll be honest. I know you could switch out on bind. Screeched on the switch. Oh, you heathen. Um. Hmm. I'm going. Items can't be used in battle. Oh, I forgot that. That is the setting. That's what the hardcore mode does. I haven't even tried using one in battle. You land that. That's kind of toxic. Um. Who has growl? You have growl. I need to lower his attack a tiny bit. Just for a constrict, that's fine. Oh my gosh, it's not fine. Goes for bide, okay. I go for growl. I go for another growl. I need to wait till that bide's done. Unleash energy, doesn't do anything. Okay. Kane. 13 HP. Like Screech, okay. That's best case scenario because you shouldn't be able to kill me. He goes for bide. Alright, perfect. We got it. We got him, boys. We got him, boys. Okay. Whew. A little sketchy there, not gonna lie. Got a little sketchy. But we did make it. Hey, I mean, when your whole team is weak to rock, except for one Pokemon, and that one Pokemon's really weak, uh, makes it a little difficult. But hey, we made it through. We got the Boulder Badge. And I think the way they made Pikachu better is now there's like a badge boost. Uh, that Pokemon become more powerful or whatever. Um, I think whatever, however that boost works in Gen 1 was normally broken, and they kind of kept that brokenness for Pikachu only, I think, if I remember correctly. Something like that. So his stats will actually be a lot higher than normal. TM34 is bide. TM34 normally, Thunderbolt. Is that bugging? I feel like it's normally Thunderbolt. I don't know. But hey, with that, I'm going to wrap this one up here. We made it through. We got our first badge. Only on the second episode, so that's pretty good. Uh, next episode, we can go through that route to the right. Um, get our, our Magikarp, our gift Magikarp. We'll take that. Uh, we'll take whatever encounters we can get along the way. There's Mount Moon. And I don't know if we can get a Route 4 encounter. I think we can. But whatever it is, leave nicknames, leave some comments, likes. Make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.